Sarmed says, we have 30 disabled accounts that still have E3 licenses as we usually keep the mailbox for 90 days. If I convert all these 30 disabled account mailboxes to shared mailboxes to spare on licenses costs, this won't affect the data on these mailboxes. Am I right? We are using Exchange Online. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank okay. you for asking, so Why, why <laughs> turn them into shared mailboxes? Like, how long are you needing to keep them for? Like, 30 mailboxes. Surely, couldn't you m migrate the data out of it if you need to and put it into folders for each person on one shared mailbox, maybe, rather than... 30? I don't know. I just kind of go, but why? I'm guessing you know, why? they didn't understand shared mailboxes when they set that up and it, they created it like a user for each single mailbox. That's what it seems like because they're saying, can we convert these over? Or they're trying to keep, maybe they have salespeople and the salespeople are leaving and they're trying to convert it into something so that they have that information after that person has left. Um, well, but it makes sense. I mean, they, 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 the people are gone they so they're restricted or they're 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 disabled accounts they don't want to be paying 90 days of licenses for users that are no longer there so they're looking for a way to reduce that cost so yeah i mean that that's the my approach would be okay how can we how can we reduce the this cost how can we not pay for e3 licenses for for these or Maybe I'm misinterpreting. Maybe those users are doing something else. They just don't have email. I'm thinking that's not the case. Email is generally the base service. Like if you're an employee, nothing else might be working for you, but email is up. Would dropping yeah, them down to like an F1 license, that's still mail enabled and cheap. Would that work? Because they clearly don't need all the other applications if they're no longer at the company. I'd hate to say as an answer to any question, um, contact Microsoft support for help. But when it comes to licensing, like that example, mm -hmm. Jonathan, is they all like, I, I don't know the answer. Um, but if you can, if you can maintain those email licenses, but at a reduced cost, maybe that's an option. Or just start working out loud with Microsoft Teams so that you're not actually using email, and then all your information will actually stay there for, for in perpetuity with persistent chat. And then what those Apple employees just let them go, and the day. I know over. that's it exactly. Yes. Come over to the come over to the modern world. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my two cents worth. <laughs> Well, another yeah. option is to use um, groups from the beginning and then just train your users to copy groups. So, for example, if it's a salesperson, copy it, everything on sales. And then if they leave, like it doesn't matter because it's all gone into the Probably sales inbox anyway. at some point anyways. <clears throat> so this could also, though, be individual users that they have to keep for 90 days after they've departed in case of a legal issue or That's in true. case um, I know I've had jobs that they review emails and chat history after people are are no longer there and then they find issues <laughs> yeah well so, so the, it could be something as easy as solve that that f1 would resolve that reduce yeah. them to a cheaper license indeed yeah. is, any, anything else though i mean is there <clears throat> anything else i mean i don't think this is converting them over moving to uh shared mailboxes I don't know. Is that is, is that an option, or are there other problems there? Anytime you try to convert a mailbox over an exchange, it's going to give you a headache. I'm just, I mean, pretty much. <laughs> that's just that's the short answer. It's mm. yeah, I try to avoid that as much as possible. If anybody asks for something like that, I try to come up with pretty much any other recommendation because it's it's not as easy as it sounds and it's a lot of effort. And there's also like inevitably you're going to lose data, you're gonna have corruption, you're gonna miss things. It's it's not as simple as that because the way email works behind the scenes is pretty complex. So, you know, you could forward it for I mean, it honestly would just be easier maybe to forward their 
mail to a mailbox for a certain amount of time or something and keep the reduced licensing or there's plenty of other options, but I agree. Why not just do an offboarding process and reduce the licensing and you're good to go. SD files forever. (laughs) Forever. Thank you.